Really stoked to do a review on a new boot tonight. Now you have to bear with me because I am starting to lose my voice a little bit. But I do need to give a big shout out to Head because they've hooked me up with a bit of a sneak preview of a new ski boot coming out for 2020, the Edge Light 130. Now the Edge Light is taking over from the old Advant Edge line of boots. But they're building off the success they had with the Nexo Light and Core series of boots and now bringing those construction updates into their wide fitting 102 millimeter lasted downhill boot. So you can really qualify this one as a wide fitting performance boot, especially in the 130 flex. Um, some really interesting construction concepts have gone into this and there's absolute ton of features that we can talk about. But the first thing you'll notice when you pick this boot up is just how light it is. Now it has the weight of a touring boot, so that is really impressive from the get-go. So delving right into the construction of the Edge Light, now it is made from a graphene infused PU. Now they really promote this graphene uh, in the aesthetic of the boot. You can see down the side you have the hexagonal pattern printed into the outer of the shell. Uh, they've also taken that hexagonal look, they've used it in the liner materials and also molded it into the top of their shell. Uh, so that's just really cool, promoting the graphene that they've used in it. Um, there's some really cool other construction elements to this. As I said before, it is a 102 millimeter high volume lasted boot but it also includes their form fit. So it is a heat moldable shell as well as a heat moldable liner. So it's one that you're gonna be able to get some more expansion. Now, why this boot is so light also is they've been able to save about half the weight than in what they used in the makeup of their old Advant Edge series. So that's giving really thin shell walls, but to sort of counter for that and really give this boot high performance, I'm gonna see if I can open this up a little bit and show you their construction called High Top Tech. Now that, on most overlap boots, when it comes to under the cuff, they're finishing quite low. Head have brought the construction of this shell all the way up to above where the cuff sits. Now that gives it great performance, but also helps lock in the tongue of the liner and hold it all nice and stable. The other thing that's given you a bit of resistance on the flex of this boot, why it gives it its 130 rating, is the Duo Flex. Now if you see this Duo Flex, it is this little ridge built in there that as you flex the cuff forward, you get a bit of resistance, it bulges, it's very active, and it responds back up. And then I just want to show you in some more detail how this cuff now wraps with this high top tech. So you can see on the lower shell, it's coming all the way up to create this high top. And the cuff is not wrapping like a traditional overlap. We're only getting the wrapping from the buckle ladder side of the cuff. You can see here, they've stopped it short. You've got your two layers of the lower shell, your single layer of the cuff. Once that's buckled into place, you now have three layers all locking together from the front. Now, shape-wise on this boot, it is fits quite long. The actual size of this boot is very impressive from a shell perspective. Um, it is quite broad. Uh, also, the toe box is very open, um, which is great for having a wide foot fit into this boot and then molding, getting a good expansion. Instep height is quite generous, but the lock that you get in the back is very impressive. Really good heel hold. We'll talk a bit more about that when we get to the liner. Um, but the other concept that they have in the construction of this boot is what they're calling smart frame. Again, it's just adding extra stability, power transmission through the bottom of the boot. Moving right along to talk a little bit more about the liner. And it's actually quite impressive right out of the box. Stepping into this boot, you do feel like you have a good grab and there really is a nice shaping in the back of this liner. They're using high quality materials. Uh, you've got leather up the top here, quite a solid ripstop fabric around the lower leg. Um, and then you have some nice preformed shape in around the ankles. 
What you also have in this liner is their liquid fit bladders. So you can see here is where you would inject their liquid fit material down, and that will fill in and secure everything around the Achilles, the heel, and really lock you in better, like you would get from a foam injection liner. This allows you to add more or remove some material out, so there really is great versatility in getting that fit in the back and really good security. Again, taking that graphene aesthetic, you can see the hexagons that are in the material in the tongue. Um, tongue is actually quite stiff, I've got to say. Pretty hard plastic used in that. I guess the theory is extra performance. Um, I guess my opinion, I like to see maybe a little softer material because the boot itself is quite solid as far as flex is concerned, but was my opinion matter in that regard. Um, it's still quite nice. It doesn't feel too abrupt on the shin, maybe just a little bit low, but that would get sorted with a heat mold pretty quickly. Can't speak high enough on that liner. Really, really cool. Back to some features on this boot. We have a flex adjuster on the back. So that flex adjuster is simply a toggle. Once you turn it with the Allen key, it'll go from horizontal, which restricts the back of the cuff when it flex, to then be in vertical and allow a little bit more of give, dropping it down to approximately a 120 flex. As you can see in the back of the cuff, again, a bit more of that graphene aesthetic, and also down in the boot board, we have that imprinting of the hexagons. So I think it's cool they've just integrated that right throughout. Next thing we can talk about, ramp angle. Five degrees along the ramp angle and 14 degrees of forward lean. So fairly nice balanced setup as far as stance. Buckles, buckles are lightweight. Um, what you'll notice on the buckles, and one thing I think is really great, low profile construction, but a really nice lip on them, a really good curvature for closing them down you get some extra leverage but the top two buckles are what are really cool and a concept that head have used quite a bit before but you've got this double power buckle so extra latch which gives you extra leverage to really get a good lock on the buckle for security with your gloves on it's a breeze you can get a lot of tension uh, also the buckle ladder on the top here is one that quickly slides into three positions so solid built, lightweight, really good buckles, can't fault them. Uh, we have a standard power strap, nothing special to talk about, heads printed on it, it's a, it's a fine power strap. So we do have a little bit of adjustment in the cuff, just on one side that we can alter the angle of the cuff. Uh, also soles, it comes standard with just regular Alpine soles, but you do have the option of adding grip walk to this boot. So overall, my opinion on the edge light is very positive. When we're looking at a boot that is wide fitting, high performance, um, it really is a boot for me that's in the top three, if not the standalone favorite right now. Um, being 102 millimeter lasted, with form fit, it's gonna expand really easy. But the other benefit, if you need a wider fit um, and being able to snug up the back with the liquid fit, it's a pretty cool combination. So for someone who's maybe a bigger guy, six foot plus, 200 pounds plus, wants to get a still a high performance boot, this is gonna be one you need to consider. Um, also what we're looking at, it's a boot that has a very active flex. With these thinner walls, it really has quite a bounce to it. You can say a reactivity to it. So you'll see the boot bulge as you flex in it, but when you take this boot into cold attempts and on snow, it's gonna have quite a lot of power. So quite spacious throughout the shell fit. You can snug it up with the liner. Really awesome combination. So pretty stoked on it. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a high rating of nine. Thanks guys, catch you in the next review.